Hello, it's we're into the second week in February now and what I'm going to show you how to sow today are tomatoes. Now some tomatoes need to go in in February and some need to go in March so just take just check the back of your packet or the front of your packet or wherever it says um, on your packet just to check when they need to be sown. Now all of mine here can be sown in February so that is why I'm doing them all today. Now I have got one, two, three, four, six different varieties varieties here that I am going to grow this year. I have got black cherry, there's no pictures on the front so you'll just have to um, go, bear with me, okay. Sun gold, bloody butcher, no I'm not swearing, indigo blueberries, green sausage which are lovely and Aunt Ginny's purple which are really really nice as well. So I've got all sorts of different colours here. I do have other tomatoes which some of them don't need to be sown until I think it's March so and they're they're normal ones so these are some of these are small some of these are long the the green sausage ones are sort of an oval shape uh, some of them are quite large so they're lots of different colours you only ever used to be able to get red tomatoes but now you can get all sorts so um, it's nice if you can try different varieties if you want to because I think having different colours of tomatoes just makes it look so much nicer on the plate. So I am going to sow all of these today and they will sow all in exactly the same way so I'm just going to show you how I'm going to sow one of mine and then I will get on and do the rest. If you've got more than one variety of tomato, make sure you label them correctly. Otherwise, they'll get all confused. I mean, you'll be able to tell when you harvest them, but you know, I'd like to be organised and like to have the correct ones labelled. So um, let me show you how I'm going to sow my tomato seeds. Right, so I have got my seed tray here. I've just filled it with some multi-purpose compost and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to gently pat it down with the back of my hand, just like that. Just do both sections. Okay, now this compost is a new bag, so it's actually very, very dry. So before I sow the seeds, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a quick water. Ooh, there we are. Okay, just like that. Now before you sow the seeds, make sure that you allow all of that water to run through. Now I'm going to sow one variety in one section and another variety in the other. Now uh, tomato seeds all look very very similar some might be slightly smaller than others but generally speaking this is what they look like so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to very carefully sprinkle them on the top of the compost if any are right next to each other which these ones are, once I've finished sprinkling, then I'm just going to move them apart just a little bit. You don't want them growing right, you know, on top of each other, two, two growing on top of each other, because they won't have enough space to grow. So let's just move those apart and those apart there and oh it's stuck up my nail and all I'm going to do now is just cover it over with a little bit of more compost and then I will label them and make sure that you label them properly. Well I've done all of the tomatoes as I say there were six varieties there and I've put two well one, one variety in each section so I've got three of these double 
um, seed trays here. So I've labelled them correctly. I know they look dry on top, but remember I did water the compost before I planted the seeds. I'm not going to water them again, otherwise they will just get too wet. So I'll most probably leave it about two or three days before I then do give them another water and I will water from the top and then it will gradually work its way down. Now I'm going to put a propagator lid over the top of these just to help keep in a little bit more extra heat. They do, if you do, when you sow them, if you do find that the temperature suddenly drops, then your tomato seeds won't germinate until they get a little bit warmer. If you do want to leave sowing your tomato seeds until, say, the beginning of spring, then that's absolutely fine. But if you sow them when I do, you will tend to find that they take a little bit longer to germinate. But don't worry about it. Hopefully, um, two, three weeks, they might start poking through. It just depends on the temperature. It is supposed to be quite warm during the day and with the greenhouse doors closed, it actually gets quite warm in here. So they may start to poke through the soil just a little quicker, but we'll just have to wait and see. The nighttime temperatures in February, especially down here in the south, they can, we, we will get another frost, but I think this week, I don't think we are down here. Up north they're supposed to, but down in the south I don't think we're supposed to. So just make sure that you cover them with a propagator lid and just keep an eye on them. You'll start to see the, the soil just sort of move slightly and then you'll, you'll see a little green shoot. It won't come straight up, it will bend like this and then it will slowly open like that. So that will be really exciting. I love it when my tomatoes start to come through. Well, that are, that's the tomatoes. If I do sow any more, which I think I have got more to sow um, next month, I'm not going to show you that because obviously it's going to be exactly the same. But I will keep you updated on the progress of all my tomatoes and in the updates that I do, hopefully at the beginning of every month, which I will try and do at the beginning of every month. So maybe by the time I do the March update, these might have started. I don't know. We'll just have to see. So patience. So anyway, I will, um, I'll keep you updated on their progress. I hope you're growing tomatoes. Fresh tomatoes are just absolutely amazing. They have so much flavour. And once you've had one of your own, the ones in the shop are just like, they have no flavour whatsoever. Even the ones that they have growing on the vine, they just, they don't. Anyway, but grow your own tomatoes this year. You don't need lots of space. You can grow little, um, uh, little bush ones which you grow either in a hanging basket or you can grow in a in a pot so you don't have to sow from seed you can wait and then go and buy a little plant if you want to but just try and have at least one at least one uh, which will be wonderful anyway um, I hope you found that useful and I look forward to seeing you soon bye bye